Sticks and Stones Can Be Harmful, Spirea Bog, Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada. Spirea Bog is a sense of environment, one of the few like this that are left. This is in Goldner's Park, British Columbia, Canada. Spirea Bog, this is what I call Sundew Island. That little island is uh, full of sundew plants, very rare and very beautiful. Here are some of the sundews growing on this island. And they, yes, are carnivorous, trapped insects and uh, feed on animals, basically flies, insects, etc. Okay, that was a picture of the island with some details. The delicate species grows here like nowhere else. And yes, they are carnivorous plants, as I mentioned. Very unusual in the plant kingdom and very unique and very beautiful. Very delicate as well, but extremely beautiful if you look up close. They are rather small. You have to get down on your hands and knees to view them. But there's other things living here and reproducing here. The salamander, the Pacific Northwest salamander grows here. And here's an adult view of that. And uh, they are becoming more and more rare as they have to require a bog like this to reproduce. And yes, the bog freezes over in the winter. Here it is. Here's the uh, ice on top of that same bog. There's the moss or sundew island, as I call it. After viewing these photos, I noticed unusual patterns in the ice. You can see that there. At first I thought they were natural formations caused by uh, things trying to grow through the ice. Uh, but when I looked uh, closer I realized that they are actually nefariously produced. So look here, you can see all of these branches and logs were thrown onto the ice, onto the bog, uh, trying to break the ice. Those are all, after it froze, branches thrown onto the ice. There's a log and some branches thrown onto the ice, as I have labeled uh, here. So these happened after the ice, people throwing them, trying to get through. Look at that. There's a rock. Okay, thrown and causing that pattern, breaking breaking the ice. So all of those patterns, uh, I found a rock or a branch in each one of them, a stick as you may call them. So here's uh, another one. You can see that spiral pattern. There's another spiral pattern forming from a rock in the center. So someone has thrown rocks all over this Spirea bog, which is obviously settling to those inhabitants that are inside of it. And uh, here's two more rocks. One of them didn't go through the ice. The other one went partially through the ice to create these patterns. So not a good thing to do in this uh, unusual, unique, very sensitive habitat. So some parents should be ashamed that their kids are destroying a last delicate and unique habitat. This area has been closed now for a few months and uh, will remain closed I hear for a few more months which is unfortunate for the rest of us who like to enjoy this habitat without disturbing it too much. But please respect our environment. Thank you and have a good one. Medical toxicology, Gary J. Ordog, MD.